So I want to talk to you about a few things real quickly with using your external web camera. You will need to do some settings on your computer, which takes a few minutes only, but you need to make sure you do this beforehand, otherwise it will revert to using the wrong camera. So first of all, I actually, this may not happen to all of you, but if you get this when you're clicking on the testing your equipment, and where I am is I was in ProctorU and I clicked on testing your equipment. If you get this, it's telling you right now, click up here and click always allow. So I'm going to click done. All right, so now I'm going to refresh my page since I've done that. So now notice that I have this piece. But I want to show you something right now. Most of you will see your internal web camera showing, and this is not acceptable. ProctorU will allow you to test with this, but it's not acceptable for your instructor. So you need to make sure that you have the correct settings, and I'm going to show you um, how to do that. But I want to show you something here real quick. Right now I have four choices, or sorry, three choices. And even though it's saying my web camera is my choice, your computer will naturally default to the front camera, which is what it's on right now. That's the camera it's on. We want it to be on this one here, where we can see our paper and the frontal view. If you click on it right now, it's going to show it to you. But if you click retest, it's going to again re, re um, it's going to go back to the default piece. So I'm going to go through some steps that you need to make sure you check real quickly. So up here on my lock, you want to make sure that both of them say allow. So if that's not done, you need to do that. So that's a check. So you want to make sure that this top camera doesn't have any marks on it and you want to click on this and it doesn't have it. But again, right now, because you have multiple choices, it's going to default back. So now I want you to go down to your start menu, type in device manager. So I went to the start menu, I clicked on device manager. If you have an older computer, you may have to click on the settings to get to that. And so now I see under here, I see cameras. So right now I'm going to click on this arrow beside the cameras, and you'll notice right now I have two choices here. And I'm going to be honest with you. The first time I did it, I clicked on the wrong one. I want to keep the web camera turned on, so I'm going to click on the one which it says Intel Stream Years. It's probably going to say something different, but this is the built-in camera, and I don't want that to be turned on. So I'm going to right-click on that. So I right-clicked my mouse and I'm going to click Disable Device. It says disabling it will cause it to stop functioning. Do you want to? Yes. I didn't, I didn't, you know, delete it. I didn't do any of those pieces. Okay. I didn't uninstall. Please be careful. All I did was I clicked on the Disable. If I want to go back and use it for my next, like, my next test or something like that for a different course in Zoom, all I got to do is go back to the same spot and click Enable. That's it. So you only want one of these to be included. So I've included my webcam. Now, if you if you do the wrong one, it's not bad. You just go back in here, you click Enable on the other, and vice versa. So now, when I come to this page, I'm going to refresh it again. Big difference right now is I only have one choice. My computer cannot default back to the other. It's really important that you only have one choice there. So I'm going to real quickly go through that step again. We're going to go to Start Menu. We're going to type in Device Manager. We're going to click on that. Some of you, again, may have to go to Settings to find that if you have an older computer. I'm going to click on my cameras. So again, it will start looking like that. I'm going to click on it, and I make sure that I disable one of them. Right now, it's, this is already there. So I'm just going to show you what it's going to start off looking like should start off looking like both of them. For my computer, it shows both of them being black, and little circles. So I'm going to click on it, disable. I'm going to click yes. I did not uninstall. I just disabled. Now I should only see one of them being a black circle. So I'm going to exit that, refreshing my page just so we're absolutely clear. You should only have one option for your camera, which you do. And that's important. When you're setting up your camera, play with this first. You may have to put a um, lamp there so you can hook it onto it. Or some people actually like 
um, actually hang something so they can latch it to it. Some people can put it on their on their top of their laptop or their computer, but it's it's hard for a lot of us to get the right setting and let it sit there. So like for me, I actually have to hold it for it to be in this setting. So that's why I say it's best actually if you go ahead and set something up behind it. Now you'll notice right now I have one X and it's because I actually have another monitor and I have to detach that to actually test. I have that so that I can look at what I'm supposed to talk to you about. When you're doing your room scan, this is another reason why we require at Lake Sumter that you have an external web camera because when you're doing your room scan, you can show me the screen and that's really important. I wanna see that, okay? So you're slowly showing everywhere in your room, okay? You're showing under your desk, you're showing to the right on the floor, to the right, left on the floor, all the way desk. They may ask you to move something. Okay. I want to real quickly show you, this is not an acceptable um, calculator for MAT 1033. This is a scientific calculator. Please look at your instructor's information to see if you're allowed something like this. But the scientific calculator is not allowed for MAT 1033. If you have this and I see it, your test will be invalidated. The calculator you can have for MAT 1033 is what's called a four function calculator. This is basically your dollar store calculator. It has a plus minus, um, multiplication. You can do the whole test without a calculator, but I do suggest you having it. You cannot use your phone. You have to have one of these. So if you don't have one for the first test, you can do all of it without it. Make sure you have paper. Now your paper can't have writing on it, but I do want you to, um, before the test, go ahead and write out the statement that's on the Canvas assignment that tells you what um, to say that this is all of my work, I've not used anybody else's assistance, and you need to date and sign that. And that needs to be like a cons kind of considered a cover letter for your scanning of your paper. But you can't have that during the test. So they want you to have blank papers when you have the test. But I need that signed piece because that's validating your test as well. You can go forwards and backwards on your test. If you start your test late, and what I mean by late is, again, you have, if you signed up for 910, then you need to be in ProctorU at 910. It will have a spot for you to click the button that says start test. It will not start your timer on your test until you're, you're through everything with your proctor. Okay? Once you're through everything with the proctor, then it will let you start the um, test and the timer will start. But if you go into ProctorU more than 10 minutes after your appointment that you picked, you will not be able to test and you will get a zero. Please make sure you're in there. If you have any questions, you can send me messages. This is, takes you very little time to set this up. Please make sure you do it. If you have questions, you can um, write me again. I'm not on 24 seven, so you may have to bear with me on, on checking those pieces, but I'm gonna try to check regularly tomorrow because I know it's your first time testing with ProctorU. Ask your proctor questions if you have questions. Okay. But remember, they're going to let you test using your internal web camera. But I'm telling you right now, when I view it afterwards and you use the internal web camera, your test will be invalidated. You will get a zero. You have to use an external web camera. If you need to go to the library, remember the Leesburg Library and the South Lake Library have um, web cameras you can check out. Um, they also have ones that you can use there. Uh, just make sure, again, you have everything that you need. Otherwise, good luck.